Hi there. It's Professor Monty again. We're answering the question, how do I use the difference quotient? Well, first of all, what in the world is the difference quotient? Well, the difference quotient looks like this. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And it's called difference because I have this subtract the difference. A quotient because I'm dividing. So I, it's a different quotient. This is going to be used in calculus. We're going to use it to define what we call the derivative. We'll get there later, but for now, let's just figure out how to work it out. Okay, so I've got a function, f of x equals x squared plus 3. I want to simplify the difference quotient using this as my function, f of x. So first off, let's write down the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And then we're going to plug things in. Remember, f of x plus h means you take this x plus h and you plug it in where the x is. So that's going to be x plus h squared plus 3. So x plus h squared plus 3. That whole thing is my f of x plus h. Minus f of x, well that's just minus the original function, x squared plus 3. Make sure you put that in parentheses. Okay, f of x plus h minus f of x, then it's all over h. Okay, so the key things where I see students make mistakes, if and when they make a mistake, is one, they don't put the x plus h in there. They try to put the plus h at the end, which is something completely different and wrong. Or they forget to put this in parentheses and forget to distribute the negative sign. You're going to need to do that to get the right answer. And then lastly, this x plus h squared, you have to FOIL that out. I'm going to do that off to the side just so we remember how to do it. I'm going to use my blue pen to do that. But remember, x plus h squared means x plus h times x plus h. I have to FOIL that out. So I'm going to go x squared plus xh plus another xh plus h squared. And if you want to call those hx instead of xh, it doesn't matter. But those are alike, so I can add those together. I get 2xh plus h squared. That's what that piece multiplies up. That's what this piece multiplies up to. So let's simplify it. So the x plus h squared comes out to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 3 minus x squared minus 3. And it's all over it. Now, here's another key step for you. If on the top, everything doesn't cancel out that doesn't have an h in it, you did something wrong. So, for instance, this x squared cancels with the minus x squared, and this plus 3 cancels with the minus 3. I only have two terms left. They both have an h. If you have anything left without an h, usually it's because you forgot to distribute your net down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out one of these h's. And it leaves me with 2x plus h. Still divided by h. The reason I do that is because now these h's will cancel. That's why we always have to have one of the h's in each term. And so my answer is just 2x plus h. That's the simplified difference quotient for x squared plus 3. Again, the key things to watch out for, make sure you plug x plus h in wherever you have an x. If you have more than one x, you have to plug x plus h in for each of those. Distribute your negative to the whole entire original function, and then make sure you FOIL it out if you have an x plus h squared. All right? Stick with those. Practice it. You'll get it pretty quickly. It just takes a little practice. But remember, you can do it.